Navigating the criminal justice system can be confusing for first time families, but there are advocates in East Baton Rouge who will help guide them every step of the way. And today they are celebrating one year of serving our community with a family support center inside the 19th JDC. Reverend Alexis Anderson joins us again virtually this morning to discuss their commitment. Good morning, Reverend Anderson. How are you? Good morning. I am just awesome this morning. Congratulations on one year of service with the Family Support Center. So for people who do not know, tell us how did the Family Support Center come about? Sure. Uh, we've been court watchers for a while in the courts. And one of the things that court watchers saw was that there were individuals that were being negatively impacted because they didn't know how to navigate the system. So you'd have people who were in the wrong courtroom in the wrong courthouse. You'd have people that sat sometimes for three or four hours, not knowing that they needed to tell the court that they were there. We'd see family members that didn't even know they could come in. So there was just a whole host of challenges. And we realized, and I say we, a, a whole host of partners, realized that we could make this better with a very simple process. And so that was where the thinking came from for the first uh, appearance family support center is that there would be a place where basically you'd be a good neighbor and you'd share with people how the court worked answer any questions they had give them information about things like how to locate their their loved ones uh case the judge what courtroom they were supposed to be in and so that's where it came from and it's been an exciting year and so what are the hours of the uh, Family Support Center inside the 19th JDC? So the outside facing, which is what I like to call it, is at the River Center Library on Tuesdays from 12 to 12.55. We host uh, a table in the lobby and it's wonderful. You can come by, you can ask any questions you need, you can get a little piece of candy or some other treat, and we're there. Monday through Friday, from one o'clock, which is when first appearance is usually held, we have somebody in the courtroom. You all have someone in the court. And what also what a lot of people do not know is that you all aren't just there in the beginning stages, like you said, during the court. You all actually sit during their entire hearings and actually listen to their first court appearance. And sometimes you all are sitting there for three or four hours as well. It, it can be lengthy. Mondays are a challenge, shall we say. but. There is nothing more encouraging for family members than when we hand them the card and say, we're here for you. You have a family member that's on the docket. Uh, do you understand what the processes are? So it really does make a difference to people and it makes a difference, quite frankly, to the court as well, because that transfer of opportunity to help people I will tell you, we've had numerous uh, times this last year where somebody has come in and they didn't know what to do or they were in the court, the wrong courtroom or more importantly, they did not understand the processes and we were able to help them. And that's a really, really important step. And so real quick, I know this morning you all are going to have just a brief uh, ceremony, I guess, to celebrate the one year anniversary, right? It's Louisiana. You got to party when something works. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Reverend Anderson, for joining us. You do so much for the community. And again, congratulations on one year. And I wish you all much success down the road. Thank you, Reggie. And anybody who'd like to stop by and see us will be there at 1030 at the River Center Library, 250 North Boulevard.